Hi everyone, um, my name is Delilah Morales and I'll be talking about Dale Carnegie's book on how to win friends and influence people. So we all want friends, right? Well, let me tell you some ways of how to not have enemies. There are three beautiful principles that Dale um, talks about in his book that I have resonated so much with. Um, one of them is show respect for the other person's opinions. Never say you're wrong. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion. Everyone is allowed to um, think the way they think. And I think especially right now too, with the whole coronavirus, everyone has their own opinion about it. Um, but no one is, no one's wrong. Um, there are, there's different theories, conspiracies, whatnot. Everyone thinks a certain way. And um, as of right now, like just everyone's allowed to think what they want. Um, I did find um, a quote outside of the book that says, instead of trying to aggressively dominate the other person with your opinion and dismiss their opinion in the process, try to understand their opinion and perspective on the matter. This will just help understand like why someone thinks the way they do. Um, everyone has a certain way of thinking. Everyone has their own perspective on whatever ideas they have and everyone's entitled to their own idea. Um, I also did find another quote from the book actually that says if you can't be sure of being right even 55% of the time why should you tell the other person they're wrong which makes so much sense like most of the time we don't know we're right so how are we going to tell someone they're wrong when we don't even know that we're right most of the time so I definitely agree with that principle I definitely feel like Everyone can kind of be open-minded to everyone else. So I really agree with that. My second principle is try honestly to see things from the other person's point of view. A lot of people just stick to their own opinions, stick to their own ideas, and don't really take in what everyone else um, thinks, which sometimes can be good, but sometimes bad because you'd never know, like, maybe... You know, like you never thought of seeing things a certain way until you heard someone else talk about it or whatnot. So you really got to try to put someone in their shoes. You know, like bullying is a big thing where, you know, people don't really take in the other person's point of view. Like, I don't, I'm not too sure how to explain this, but when someone is being bullied and other people are just watching you have to kind of step in like you don't you don't know what that person could be going through that can be their last day and not even know and you could have saved them by putting yourself in their shoes and trying to um, understand how they feel and understand what they're possibly going through and then a quote that I had found outside of the book was it is important to put oneself in other people's shoes because it can help one to better understand everything and it may shed some light on what actually happened. A lot of people go through their own things a certain way and everyone deserves to be or should be open-minded to other people's ideas. So I definitely agree with that. And then... Um, my third principle is ask questions instead of give orders. So for this, like, you know, my boss, for example, we have to get through a certain amount of tasks during a week. And instead of him, like, trying to um, motivate us to get it done, he just bosses us around and makes it worse and makes everyone more stressed out when all he needs to do is just be like, hey, like, how can we get this done faster? How can we get our goal, achieve our goal, you know? 
but instead of asking questions, he just demands, which kind of resents us workers in a way against him because that makes us not want to get things done as quickly as he would like us to. Um, so, you know, you have to let people also learn from their mistakes. Like, instead of ordering them around and trying to make them do something, you know, that they don't want to do, maybe just let them learn the hard way. Um, also, too, like, just giving orders resents people. I know uh, Dale talked about in the book where, you know, someone's car was in the way and the teacher was like, whose car is that? Whoever's it is needs to move it now. And, you know, the student, instead of wanting to move it for the teacher, he just kind of didn't understand the way that um, the professor talked about it instead of just being like, hey, like, let's make sure our cars aren't in other people's way. No, it wasn't like that. It was more demanding. And um, so the a quote that I found for that um, outside of the book was, instead of telling someone not to do something, ask them if they've considered a better option. You know, like, like how I said for working, instead of my boss telling us, let's get it done, let's get it done, maybe he could have provided a different way of like, okay, if, you know, we need a couple minutes here, but less minutes here for our tasks, you know? And then for my conclusion, um, you know, like just these principles, this book is so amazing. It has so many life lessons to take in. There's different rules that you can learn from to follow and everything. And I just really like the examples that he had put in his book also, um, especially the the car example with the uh, ask questions instead of giving orders. That one was good because everyone deserves to be talked to in a nice way instead of, you know, being talked to like demanding um and, you know, these are simple and effective ways to just keep relationships and not make enemies. And everyone just deserves to be open-minded. Everyone should have their own opinion, but also, like, taken from others. And that's, I think, how I'm going to close out. And I really appreciate you listening. Thank you.